All right, time to show off the Vita some love. Show the Vita some love with a new adventure game from Media Molecule. Here with me is Rex Crowell, who is talking about Tearaway. Thanks so much for joining us, showing off your awesome mustache, first and foremost. Thank you very much. And the game, Tearaway, which we saw at the PlayStation meeting. So uh, tell us all about this project. This is really big for you guys. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a really fun new uh, adventure that we've been crafting. Um, we've been building a whole game world out of paper craft. Mm -hmm. um, it obviously it gives it a very like a very unique visual style. It's like very bold, um, really interesting colours in there, all sorts of stuff. But ultimately, it's all about choosing paper. Is all about making it very very physical, right. making sure that um, because the Vita is covered in inputs. You know, you've got the front touch, you've got the back touch, you've got the microphones, all of this stuff going on. We can just really make it come come to life. Um, you know, in a paper world, the, the way that as you're holding the game, you know, it's actually you're seeing the reaction of, you know, you touching it or you guiding your um, your messenger character through this mm -hmm. world and checking out, you know, all the all the different regions along that along that adventure. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you guys with Little Big Planet, I mean, it, just an amazing studio that you have there. And I know that when you got your hands on the Vita, probably just all the sparks started flying, right? Yeah. In terms of what you could do with a device like this. Certainly. What was the first thing that you gravitated towards in terms of, was it the touch controls or just knowing that you could have a portable type of experience? What was it about the Vita that made you, that inspired you to create this game? Well, I mean, it, it kind of all came out of a very, uh, the, the initial thought was just the, the rear touch pad is that it's not, that isn't something you can do on any other device. Right. You know, and what could we what could we do about that? And I really wanted to just get that feeling of picking up a, a game and seeing as you touch the back of the, the game console, you actually saw your fingers like tearing up into the into the world and sort of waving back at yourself and yeah. getting that really like weird visual of like seeing a bit of you inside of the game world. Right. And then we expanded out from that. We have a culture of like game jams where everyone kind of collaborates together and has, has ideas and prototypes them. So we kind of worked our way out from that initial, that one kind of pivot at the very mm -hmm. center um, to think about other ways that we could play with the fact that you're holding this game world in your hands, you know, really playing with the idea of it being a handheld game. You know, you are holding the whole world there. Yeah. So that's where all the stuff started happening with using the microphones and using the cameras to like take, take you know, images of you and kind of just, just completely, not exactly just break the fourth wall, but just tear it yeah. up, you know, really make a big comment about the fact that you are playing a game and you're kind of, it, you're, you're actively involved in it as a player as well as the character inside the game. Well, and I think it's those moments, you know, a little big planet, uh, you know, people see it on screen or a screenshot of mm -hmm. it. It's like, okay, it's a game, it's cute, it's got mm -hmm. Sackboy, but it's those moments of discovery in a title like that. Uh, and now with this new device and this mm -hmm. new pla new IP, you have an opportunity to reinvent that again. What, what is the most exciting thing to discover in the game for you? What, what are those moments for you? I think really it's the way, uh, because everything's all made of one material, everything can really transform um, into, into different forms, you know, so in a very sort of pop-up book st style. So uh, encountering a, a character then, then, then they might like fold down into a piece of scenery and then that scenery then transforms into something else you know we can be very dynamic with the the kind of um, situations that you're meeting uh, throughout the adventure yeah and throughout the adventure talk a, a little bit about that because we've seen the game we've seen a little bit about the core functionality mm -hmm. but how does this progress over time and, and what are you doing over the long haul in okay Tearaway? so the the main uh the main goal of the game is to guide this little tiny paper messenger um if you're playing as the male version they're called uh, iota and if it's the female version you're called a toi and you are trying to guide them all the way through this um through this kind of odyssey um so that they can deliver this message that they have that they're trying to get to you um, and you're visually represented in the game world by um, you see the, the, the sun up in the sky, very bold, and the sun has got an enormous tear in it, and looking in through the game world with like live feed is, is you, like staring in, and they're looking up at you, and they're you know, climbing over the mountains and crossing the oceans to try and get to, to, get to you, to hand you this, this message awesome. at, at the end. Well, it sounds like a very creative game, something that really employs the power of the PS Vita. Looking mm. forward to checking out. 